Hey guys, it's me, Seren, back with another video. So I'm super excited to be bringing you today's hidden figure. Um, I have a lot of new subscribers, so for those of you that don't know, every other Wednesday we do a hidden figure series, which is Black Women in History. And today's hidden figure is Lorna Simpson, who was born in 1960 and is an African-American photographer and multimedia artist who made her name in the 1980s and 1990s with artworks such as Guarded Conditions and Square Deal. She's one of the leading artists of her generation, and her works have been included in numerous exhibitions, both nationally and internationally, and she is best known for her photo text installations, photo collages, and films. I know there's going to be people that, people that say, like, well, how is she a hidden figure? People know who she is. If you're into art, you might know who this woman is. I never heard of Lorna Simpson. Uh, she was suggested. I had never heard of her. I read about her. I feel like she should be way more famous. Like, we all know motherfucking, like, Van Gogh and Picasso, but a lot of these, like, very famous, like, black women artists that have like done a lot of work contributing to the art world we do not know them they are not you know household names so Lorna Simpson born in Brooklyn New York in 1960 she attended the high school of art and design her parents loved the arts and took her to numerous plays museums concerts and dance performances and she later attended the school of visual arts in New York where she received a Bachelor of Fine Arts in Photography. After receiving her BFA, she traveled to Europe and Africa, developing skills in documentary photography, her earliest works. While traveling, she became inspired to expand her work beyond the field of photography in order to challenge and engage the viewer. It was these ideas that she worked on while earning her Master of Fine Arts degree from the University of California at San Diego in 1985. Her education in San Diego was somewhere between photography and conceptual art, and her teachers included conceptualist Alan Caprow, performance artist Eleanor Anton, filmmakers Babette Mangolte, and Jean-Pierre Gorin, and poet David Anton. What emerged was her signature style of photo text, in which graphic text is inserted into studio-like portraiture, which we've all seen this type of style of, like, like words like graphic text like superimposed over like images and like portraits this is like this woman Lorna Simpson this is like her signature style bringing new conceptual meaning into the works these works generally related to the perception of African-American women within American culture Simpson first came to prominence in the 1980s for her large-scale works that combined photography and text and defied traditional conceptions of sex identity race culture history and memory Drawing on this work, she started to create large photos printed on felt that showed public but unnoticed sexual encounters. Recently, Simpson has experimented with film as well as continuing to work with photography, and her work often portrays black women combined with text to express contemporary society's relationship with race and ethnicity. In many of her works, the subjects are black women with obscured faces, causing a denial of gaze and the interaction associated with visual exchange. Through repetitive use of the same portrait combined with graphic text, her anti-portraits, as she calls them, have a sense of scientific classification addressing the cultural associations of black bodies as animals. The complex historical and symbolic associations of African-American hairstyles also are often brought into play in her work, and there will be a really good um, link in the description box uh, on a St. Heron article, which St. Heron is uh, Solange's culture, lifestyle, website, brand, uh, where they did a profile of uh, Lorna Simpson and her work and the way that her work specifically addresses uh, black American women's hair. Throughout the 1980s and 1990s, Simpson was showing work through solo exhibitions all over the country, and her name was synonymous with photo text artworks. She was awarded a National Endowment for the Arts Fellowship in 1985, and in 1990, she became the first African-American woman to exhibit at the Venice Biennale. I hope I pronounced that right. In 1990, Simpson had one woman exhibitions at several major museums, including the Denver Art Museum, the Portland Art Museum, and the Museum of Modern Art in New York, the MoMA. 
Simpson has explored various media techniques, including two-dimensional photographs, as well as silk screening her photographs onto large fabric panels, creating installations or producing video works, such as a piece called Call Waiting. By the 2000s, she had started exploring the medium of video installations in order to avoid a paralysis brought on by outside expectations. In 2001, she was awarded the, Mitney, the Whitney excuse me, Museum of Art Award, and in 2007, her work was featured in a 20-year retrospective at the Whitney in her hometown of New York City. Simpson's work has been displayed at the Museum of Modern Art, the Museum of Contemporary Art, the Miami Art Museum, the Walker Art Center, the Minneapolis Institute of Art, and the Irish Museum of Art, among other museums. In 2016, Simpson created the album artwork for Black America Again by the rapper Common. During the same year, she was featured in the book In the Company of Women, Inspiration and Advice from Over 100 Makers, Artists, and Entrepreneurs. In a 2017 issue of Vogue magazine, Simpson showcased a series of portraits of 18 professional creative women who hold art central to their lives. The women photographed included, I'm sure I'm going to mispronounce this, Teresita Fernandez, Huma Baba, and Jacqueline Woodson. Inspired by their resilience, Simpson said of these women, I love them because they don't take no for an answer. Isn't that such a great, a great quote? Uh, and Lorna Simpson currently still lives and does art in Brooklyn with her daughter. There's going to be a lot of really great links in the description box. You can read up more about her. Um, and the thumbnail for this video is obviously uh, one of her works that revolves around black women's hair. So hopefully you, enjoy, you guys enjoyed this one and you will learn more about Lorna Simpson, who is a hidden figure. Thanks for that as always. See you guys next time. Peace.